Netflix with the hicks Where we tell you about the movies We tell you that they're great Or if they really stink Now it's time to start the show Yeah, now it's time to go Guess what? It's Flicks with the Hicks Hey folks, welcome to another episode of Flicks with the Hicks I'm Greg, this is my lovely wife Janet Each week we review two films that we watched on DVD that week We review the worst film that we watched and the best film that we watched and this week I got tasked with picking the worst film and my choice is a film called Just Friends came out in 2005 stars Ryan Reynolds Amy Smart and Anna Faris Ryan Reynolds at the beginning of the movie plays a high school student that is unattractive, overweight, and kind of geeky. And he has a love interest, a girl that he's been friends with all through high school, but she really hasn't shown much of an attraction to him, or affection to him, I should say. And he decides he's going to tell her how he really feels about her. Well, when he tells her, she tells him, I think we should just be friends, you're my best friend, that kind of story, you know, everybody's gone through that. Well, <laughs> after high school, he goes off to Hollywood and becomes a record executive. Loses all kinds of weight, gets in great shape, and ends up having, I guess, a little bit of an affair with a girl played by Anna Ferris in the film, who, is a musician singer with very little talent mm -hmm. and she's completely annoying uh -huh. beyond annoying uh -huh. and anyways ryan reynolds ends up going back to his hometown and he's kind of supposed to be watching over this singer that he had had the affair with while he's there and he gets the opportunity to meet his childhood sweetheart again and this time he's gonna do it right. He's gonna make her fall in love with him. This is supposed to be a romantic comedy. Mm -hmm. They should have just called it a romantic because it was not funny. It, it wasn't just, funny. There just wasn't, there just wasn't very many, I can't think of a really funny part in the film. And this type of film really lends itself to likable characters. They take a mm -hmm. script that is yeah, just so-so, we don't know if it's really going to go over well. Who mm -hmm. can we get that might turn this into a moneymaker? Mm -hmm. Well, it just didn't work. It, it just didn't work. It, it didn't work in this film at all. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it goes through Bad. the whole rigmarole of he's going to impress, you know, Brian Reynolds is going to impress his, his friend from high school and he just keeps nice. tripping over himself and messing yeah. up and and then there's the other high school guy that comes back into the picture that yeah. is the stud still and all this stuff and it was just to me yeah. it was it was very predictable yep very not funny not funny and i had a hard time paying attention to it I really did. I kept yeah. drifting in and out of the film, thinking it's going to get better, it's going to get better, and you know what? Yeah. It just never did. Predictable, and um, uh, the character I Adams played, you know, was, I didn't like him. Didn't like the other guy. Mm -hmm. The girl. I mean, it's, it it wasn't funny at all. I mean, the situations could have been funny, but it really wasn't. And it, you knew how it was going to turn out. Well, I, exactly. I like Ryan Reynolds, and I like Amy Smart. Mm -hmm. But this script just didn't give them anywhere to really shine. Mm -hmm. I, I, you can't say their acting was bad, but you can't say it was good either. Yeah. I mean, it was just like they just walked through it. Yeah. You know. It wasn't so, good. I would give this film from one to a hundred. I'd give it a forty-one. I sold my number. Really? Yeah, I was thinking 41, maybe. <laughs> 41, uh, uh, 41. Yeah, I agree with you totally. It was, it was not good. And uh, the upcoming singer in there, mm -hmm. yeah. That was bad acting, I'm, I'm sorry. She's just not <laughs> yeah. good. But, I, I mean, no, it sucked. The movie sucked, sorry. Okay. So, you got to pick the best film of the week. What did you decide? 
this one. Lawrence of Arabia from 1962, you guys. This thing is awesome. It's got awards coming out. It's mm-hmm. And I mean, seriously. And voted the most influential film of all time a couple times for, by different people i think the smithsonian's got it it's pretty accurate on historical things biography type historical drama action everything and it's only 227 minutes yeah <laughs> Yeah, but a, it, I mean, it, it keeps your interest. It's a full night of TV. Yeah. Oh, it's got Best Picture of the Year winner, seven of Academy Awards, it says. I didn't even read the back. I, I mean, yeah. Okay, Thomas Edward uh, Lawrence uh, was a, an archaeologist guy that very flamboyant very egotistical but he is an archaeologist that had done some work in like arabia and egypt and stuff and the british needed his help and he helped them and he made the arab tribes get together to fight the turks and the movie is awesome you guys i mean the wardrobe the acting anthony quinn was uh, playing this guy named Abda or, uh, Abda or something like that. He would spend hours trying to get his makeup and wardrobe perfect at, you know, looking at pictures of the guy. And even on set, they thought there was, they didn't know who he was. They, they said, this guy looks just like him. Didn't know it was still Anthony Quinn. He did his makeup that well, but he spent hours on that. He is really into this role. This is based on a true film, or a yeah, true story. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. historical. Yeah, and it's pretty close. There's a few timelines that are off, and like it looks like uh, Lawrence of Arabia was doing a lot of the stuff by himself with like only one other um, soldier with him. It, it was actually several soldiers with him at, in a couple scenes, mm -hmm. but it, it was noted to be pretty accurate. And as far as his being an exhibitionist and being flamboyant and always seemed to be in the limelight and- He's definitely eccentric. Yes. Bordering on being a nut. Yeah. But uh, yeah, they said, yeah, he was really a handful. Mm -hmm. But he-, he he, he was liked by the Arabs and the Britain people tolerated him, <laughs> you know, to get, he helped this, uh, you know, everything get accomplished. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the way he died was kind of, you know, off the wall, mm -hmm. a motorcycle accident, how he died. But mm -hmm. um, a few days after the accident, he died from injuries. But he did, such a good thing, I guess. Mm -hmm. You know, for the board, the the port of Tur Turkey and all yeah. that, and got that. Anyway, uh, I'm well, just was, rambling. I'm just rambling. This is a beautiful film to watch. Yeah. Um, I really enjoyed it. I really didn't think I would, but I really did enjoy I did. it. And good I just on, wish yeah. that I had gotten a chance to see this film on the big screen because it's a beautiful yeah. film. Beautiful film yeah. the way it was shot. Um, and, you know, when, when I saw the previews to it, I, I remember when I was a kid, you, you know, the, before it might be the Sunday night movie of the week or Monday night movie of the week or whatever, and they show the previews, and I thought, oh, that's not going to, I'm not interested in that. It's a really good film. Yeah. It's captivating, mm -hmm. and even as long as the film is, I wouldn't have minded if it was longer. Yeah. And, you know, like uh, Omar Sharif didn't get much credit on here but he's pretty known well known in the Middle East already but you know that's kind of like his breakout film mm -hmm. and yeah you know, it says Peter O'Toole played Lawrence of Arabia uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. Peter O'Toole played Lawrence of Arabia Alec Guinness Anthony Quinn 
He was awesome. Jack Hawkins and Jose Ferrer. Oh, anyway. Ferrer. Ferrer. It was good, y'all. And the, the wardrobe and, you know, everybody, uh, you know, riding camels and horses and, I mean, they weren't doing this on a set, y'all. They were out there. And this made good money for its time. Yeah, they made it for 15 million and uh, they cleared like 70 million. That's from the box office, not counting DVD sales and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But all the awards, like O'Toole got new, uh, uh, new, say Golden Globe for newest actor. Best new actor. Best new actor. I mean, they got like award after award after award and they're still getting awards. You know, well, that's kind of where I was going with this film too. Is that I don't think they could have. I don't think they could replace Peter O'Toole with anybody else in that film. I know. It, it would be a completely different film. He was really good in this. Yeah, there's all sorts of people that had offer. Uh, they approached to take different roles, and you know what? They they regret it now because they would have got notoriety big time. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, I, I don't think they were offering enough money for some of them. One guy didn't want to have to wear brown, brown contacts or something like that. I'm going <laughs> like, okay, whatever. But it, it turned out wonderful. And, you know, being history, part of history. Mm -hmm. And it's entertaining. Yeah. I love it. Okay, what do you give this? What's your rating? All right. I will give Lawrence of Arabia... I'd give it an 89. Really? Yeah. Okay. Um, I was thinking like a 92. It's, it is long, you know, but, uh, and I, I say 92. I'll watch it again. Yeah, it's a good film. Yeah. Very good film. Yeah, I'd recommend it. And you know what? Somebody wanted us to review this, huh? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, one of y'all wanted us to review this, and I'm going like, well, we have it. I knew we had it, and I was thinking, let's go ahead and watch this one. We had the time, mm -hmm. and see, our fans matter. <laughs> 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 I had to say something about it because mm -hmm. I'm serious. I would have just left it in the box. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. you guys have a request, and we've got it. We'll, we'll go ahead. We'll we'll review it. So yeah, with beer just, too. Somebody wanted us to do a beer and it was stout and we got a stout. It just Yeah, it's really a chore for me to sit down and, and drink a beer. <laughs> I really have to go out of my way to do Yeah, you that. guys can watch those too, our beer reviews. Okay. All so, right. All right guys. Well we hope you enjoyed this episode of Flicks with the Hicks. If you did, hit the like button, the subscribe button. Don't touch those bad buttons, just hit the good buttons. Uh -huh. And until next time, take it easy. Hope to see you again soon. Bye bye.